Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we're gonna understand about how to design Jenner model in LTS Spice. Let us say you want to design a circuit by using Jenner diode, wherein you are looking for a components. You are looking to select a component which is having the Jenner breakdown voltage, which is 3.3 volt. And if you go on the component list, if I right click on this Jenner diode, IE and 750, if I right click on it, if you look at here, this is the 4.7 volt. The breakdown voltage of this Jenner diode is 4.7 volt. While what I want to do, I want to select the Jenner diode having breakdown voltage of 3.3 volt. In this case, let us let us find the part and let us see if you have the part available in the Altis Spice library. So what I'm gonna do it. I'm going to select now pick new diode. So I'll click on here and now if you look at I want to find out the part which is having the reverse breakdown voltage which is 3.3 volt. So so if you look at here this is these are the silicon diode and I'll keep on scroll down and from here you will see the Gina diode you can see uh, 6.2 8.2 here I see 4.7 then we don't have the Jenner diode. Let's keep scrolling down. So let's move ahead. Now if you look at the one Jenner diode 33 and we do have some Jenner diode here as well. The 51 like that. Let's keep rolling up. Okay. So if you look at now the silicon fast recovery and my uh, we want to look at the Jenner diode 6.3 here. I don't see any Jenner diode which is having the breakdown voltage of 3.3 volt now this is a problem because in your LTE spice library we don't have any part which sees that the breakdown voltage is 3.3 volt and if this is the case it is very difficult if you even look at here we don't have any part okay then it is very difficult to simulate your design with the part breakdown voltage 3.3 volt we don't have the part so how you gonna do that let us understand okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to select the generic component so go on this component list component and scroll down you will find the gina diode this is my gina diode okay this is the generic component of my gina diode and now i want to define a model model working model for Jenner diode so that my Jenner diode work very well okay and how I'm gonna do that let us understand okay this is the problem I want to have the Jenner diode which is having the breakdown voltage of 3.3 volt so how you gonna do that the simple is you have to now define the name of this Jenner diode so you can write it the name of this Jenner diode maybe you can write is no so let me write it this is let's say my 3.33 v3 zener my 3v3 zener let us say i don't want to give any space my 3v3 zener now this is your 3v3 zener and you have to define the model working model for this zener diode and how you gonna do that very important in order to do that you have to go on your spice directive dot op command so if you look at here the last this is spice directive and you have now you have now option to write the spice directive or the working model of your my zener 3.3 volt okay so how you gonna do that you have to write it model m o d e l model then you have to write it your Jenner name so my this is my 3 v 3 Jenner okay you should write like this 3 v 3 Jenner and then you have to you want to define the model write d capital d and then you have to write the syntax here so what i'm writing the on resistance equal to zero the r of of resistance equal to zero 
correct not zero sorry so one mega ohm one meg and then you have to define the forward voltage of this zener diode which is v f w d v f w d which is equal to you can write it 0.7 let us say and then you have to define the reverse voltage which is very important in case of the zener diode v r e v v reverse r e v equals to 2 okay so this is that is how you are going to define the model for your zener diode okay i have defined the model now you have to validate this model whether this model is working or not so in order to validate this how what we can do it we can simply simulate connect the voltage source so what i'm going to do now i'm going to connect the voltage source here let us connect the voltage source and let us simulate if this model is working or not and if you can use this model for your further simulation further study okay so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to add one register here so let's say i am adding one register and the value of this resistance is for now is 1k right 1k is the value of resistance and uh, let us say this is 1k i want to add it here 1k and uh, let's see you can connect this the voltage source let's say it is 5 volt for the time being the voltage source is 5 volt and you can also connect the ground otherwise it is not going to work so this is my ground this is i am showing that that my 3.3 zener diode is working or not the model i define for this zener diode for my application whether it is working or not so i have connected now the voltage source simple resistance value to limit the zener current okay and the ground and now what i'm going to do it and i'm going to run now the transient analysis so go at simulate run transient edit simulation then stop time is let's say 100 millisecond and run it okay so this i'm going to do it now so go at run now and look at this this is your 5 volt correct this is your you can child window vertically this is your 5 volt and i want to see here this zener diode is not connected in the reverse wise so you have to connect the zener diode in reverse wise first this is very important okay now i have connected the zener diode in reverse wise so i have to run simulation again so i ran running the simulation now i want to see the voltage here okay so what is the voltage you see here this is 2 volt okay and i want here 3.3 volt not 2 volt let's say 3.3 3.3 volt and uh, let me run the simulation again save and run the simulation again now you can see what is the voltage you are getting what is your breakdown voltage for this zener diode if you look at here it is clearly 3.3 volt correct so whatever model i defined for this zener diode uh, it is working perfectly fine okay so irrespective of what zener uh, breakdown voltage you require for your application you require for your application you simply define the model select the generic uh, component of zener diode generic zener diode and you have to write the dot model command entire dot model command by using the spice directive or dot op command if you look at here the spice directive are a dot op and wherein you have to define use you have to use the same syntax otherwise it is not going to work dot model and whatever the name of your zener diode i am writing my name of my zener diode is my 3.3 volt zener diode 3 v3 zener diode same name you have to write it here then you have to write it d and then you have to open the parenthesis r on is 0 r of is 1 mega ohm and the v forward forward voltage of this zener diode is 0 0.7 and the r area of interest is the reverse breakdown voltage of zener diode which is 3.3 volt okay now once you do this once you define the model in spice directive and then you can simulate by using any application 
and uh, you can simulate and see that whether your Jenner diode is working in linear uh, breakdown region or not. So let's say let's say if I want to give the 12 mil volt here. So 12 volt here. Let's see if it is still 3.3 .3 breakdown voltage. Okay. Now I've given the 12 volt. The breakdown voltage is still 3.3. .3. And the Jener current is in this case I am seeing is 8.7 milliampere. Okay, 8.7. When it is 5 volt, how much the Jener current? Let's see. 5 volt. When it is 5 volt, the Jener current is around 1.7 milliampere. Okay. So guys, that is how that is how you can define. You can define the Jenner model in your LTS spice. Okay, how to define the Jenner model? If you follow the step, very simple step. I am teaching here, very simple step. If you follow the step, at least you are able to simulate your circuit. You are not going to stack. Even you, are, you do not need to import the third-party model in your LTS spice library. You do not need to do that. This Jenner is the simple voltage regulator. If you want, if you want to work it as a breakdown region so simply you can define the model and you can define the reverse voltage this is very important v reverse you can define v r e v equals to 3.3 .3 volt in this case 3.3 .3 volt you can define this to 5 volt as well let us do that let us do even let us do uh, uh, let us define it as a 12 volt okay so for 12 volt now I'm defining this as a 12 volt. I I'm giving the input voltage to 24 volt. Let's see if this still works or not. Okay. So I've done this and if you look at here, what is your voltage now you are getting is 12 volt. Okay. So this V reverse voltage is very important. Whatever the voltage you're gonna get want to break your Jenner in the breakdown region. You have to define the reverse voltage at that. And in this case, it is 12. Input is 24. If you look at input is 24, but you are getting the 12 volt. Okay. So hope guys, you have understood how you're gonna define the Jenner model in LTS Spice. Still, if you have any doubts on this, feel free to ask me in comment section. 